we are acknowledging uh, tonight the freedom milestones that have taken place this year by presenting Freedom Flames Awards to a number of outstanding personalities whose contribution to freedom in the Philippines in 2012 was extraordinary. My work with environmental protection is really about freedom from unfreedoms, the unfreedom of pollution, the unfreedom, using Amartya Sen's word, uh, from those that really, in fact, destroy life and life support systems. To me, the work I do is really freedom, not only to enjoy nature and to enjoy the bounties of our ecosystems, but to ensure that we are free from everything that destroys that. Because to me, the environment and the ecosystems are really life-giving sources. And that's what makes us truly free. Well, certainly any peace agreement addresses uh, the need for freedom from fear and insecurity. Uh, violence, especially in armed conflict, creates uh, great insecurity, uh, great fear among people. It uh, makes uh, futures uncertain. So uh, the framework agreement sets a roadmap, a doable roadmap for bringing a just and lasting peace in the region. With this roadmap that we are certainly uh, determined to implement, uh, to bring to a, a full completion. Uh, it really addresses so many, so many elements and aspects of freedom that uh, our people certainly deserve. We, Syntax, will provide better health facilities will allow enrollment in the uh, field health of over 5.2 million indigents in 2013 and over 10 million in 2014. Uh, this will go a long way in promoting our health sector in meeting our Millennium Development Goals and uh, uh, therefore a healthier Filipino nation certainly uh, would have the ability to enjoy democracy uh, better. Uh, we alleviate poverty and, uh, and uh, therefore this uh, would liber liberate them from uh, uh, many difficulties. Uh, freedom from want uh, is addressed here. I think with good governance, um, first of all, you let people know what what they deserve in the first place, what their rights are in the first place. Uh, when people are aware with what is to them, they get opportunities. It extends people's freedom in the sense that um, it enables them to do more because um, also much will be given back.
freedom of information will give the citizens the freedom from ignorance. Uh, with access to information, the, the citizens will have the information on, on what various programs, infrastructure, uh, projects, uh, government will be establishing. It would help citizens know if there are certain allocations for specific programs. Because if people don't know what, what are the programs that they can access, then who uses the money? Where does the money go? The freedom of information would help citizens become free from ignorance. has uh, far-reaching effects. It could be viewed as a freedom from uh, corruption, freedom from injustice. Uh, that's uh, what public accountability is all about. It's also a freedom from apathy. Because before the impeachment, the people was not really involved in, in the so-called transparency and accountability of public office. But during that impeachment, we saw the people really uh, came out and uh, supported not just the House of Representatives, uh, but you know, supported the entire process. When the people get involved in the process, then you strengthen democracy. I think that by reporting on a very secretive institution like the Supreme Court and Judiciary, I have tried to push the limits of freedom uh, in this field and by blazing the trail, I hope that uh, many of the reporters will follow this and uh, eventually uh, make the court a very transparent uh, institution. When we achieve this, then we can say that uh, we have really exercised our freedom to scrutinize a very important branch of government. I am free. 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 I am free.